a question. Am I really my brother's keeper? Am I truly responsible for my brother and his actions and how he responds to certain things? Let's see what the Word says. In Galatians 6 2, the Bible reads, Bear ye one another's burdens, and so fulfill the law of Christ. If I am to fulfill the law of Christ, then I am knowledgeable of this part, that I am my brother's keeper, because I am to bear the burdens of my brother's and my sisters in Christ. In other words, when they go through something, then I go through it with them. And I pray with them and I uh, and I cry with them. But I sense their burden. And why do I sense that burden? And why should I sense that burden? Think about the body itself as an example. Let's say, for in instance, you are walking barefoot and you cut your foot on a piece of glass. Your foot is hurting, but your whole body senses it. You hurt even in your fingers. You hurt in your mind. You hurt even your other foot hurt because of that one foot. In other words, it all comes to the head where every part of you is affected because of your foot being cut. Dearly beloved, that's the same way with the body of Christ. When one hurts, the other one hurts, even though they may try to act as though they don't realize the pain that is also in them. But it is part of you, for it is the body of Christ. However perplexed you may be at any hour, become about some question or some truth or a refuge where you should go. When we put aside our own cares and we begin to focus on the cares of others, then God begins to work in our lives in a very powerful way to change our very own attitude that we now possess. I remember my wife saying to me when she was in the hospital for an ailment that when she finally took her uh, mind off of what she was going through and what uh, uh, was happening to her at that particular time and put her mind upon those who was entering the hospital and began to pray for them. Then God began to relieve the pressure that was upon her. Because she had taken her mind off of her situation. And began to put her mind upon the situation of others. Isn't that what Job did? When the Bible said in the very end. That Job began to pray for his friends and when he began to pray for his friends then and only then did God release the multitude of blessings and began to bless Job more so than he had ever been blessed before because he took his eyes off of what he was going through and then he put it upon the situation that his friends were going through and then God delivered him. And that's the same way, my brothers and sisters, we as born-again believers are called. So truly, we are our brother's keeper because they are a part of the body of Christ. And there is no way we cannot walk in the way that God desired for us to walk if we neglect our brothers and sisters when they are in need. Glory be to God. God bless you today and God keep you.